This is question 5 from paper 2 of the 2014 National 5 Maths exam. We're given a couple of mathematically similar jars. We know their height, we know the volume of the smaller one, we're asked to find the volume of the large one. Now before we start, let's have a wee look at a small cube. Side 1. And we'll look at a mathematically similar cube, which has side 2. Now for the lengths, we're doubling. For the areas, we're multiplying by 4. So there's an area of 1, we now have an area of 4. So for the areas, we're multiplying by 4. But what about the volume? Where we started with a volume of 1 cube, we've now got 8 cubes. So 1 cube to 8 cubes. And we've multiplied by 8. So this is the volume. So a length scale factor of 2, an area scale factor of 2 squared, and a volume scale factor of 2 cubed. So whatever the length scale factor is, you cube that to get the volume. If we look here at the height scale factor, We've got 24 compared to 15. Now we could get the calculator out and, and do that. You notice that uh, 3 goes into 24 8 times and 3 goes into 15 5 times. If we now double top and bottom, we'll get 10 into 16, which is 1.6. So basically we're saying that this height is 1.6 times that height. So your lengths have been multiplied by 1.6. But the volume scale factor, and this was indicated in the little discussion we had over here, the volume scale factor would be 1.6 cubed, whatever that comes to. So where we had a volume of 750 cubic centimetres, then to get the volume of this, we would be multiplying by not 1.6, but 1.6 cubed, that being the volume scale factor. So volume of larger jar would be the smaller jar's volume, 750, times 1.6 cubed. So we'll need to work that out. So 750 times 1.6 raised to the power 3 and that comes to 3072. Measurements are cubic centimetres. Calculate the volume of the larger jar. There it is.